Apple has finally launched its AI products to the world today, but there are also a whole heap of questions still to answer. These are questions about their training data, their models, and how they expect their supposedly market-leading privacy functionality to work when Siri is sending so much of your data to ChatGPT. Before we get to that though, let's talk about the launch itself because the new features coming later this year do look extremely useful and exciting. Apple have integrated what they're calling Apple intelligence into a whole host of different areas around their operating system. You can proofread and rewrite messages, you can create images and you can create what they're calling Genmojis, which is like your own emoji basically which looks very cool they've also launched a brand new ai powered siri which they say has awareness of your personal context context in this case of course meaning data but they don't want to call it that and they say you don't need to worry about privacy because all of the compute is either done on the device itself or in their new privacy cloud compute which is a new way of configuring cloud compute which ensures that your data is kept entirely private, or so they say. Then finally, there is the ChatGPT integration. Apple say Siri can draw upon ChatGPT's expertise if it thinks it can help you better. It's free to use for anyone and paid ChatGPT subscribers can access all of the paid features through their Apple device. So here are my questions. Firstly, training data. Apple said nothing in the announcement about what data they use to train their foundation models. But if you scroll down far enough in the machine learning page, you can find some oblique references to licensed data and publicly available data, which don't really give any detail. Now, remember, they're using both stable diffusion and large language model AI to create image generation and text editing. Training these types of models require insane amounts of data. So given that they've made so much of a big deal about how important privacy is and how they don't store any of your data, it seems odd to me that they've made little to no reference to the masses of public data that they've presumably scraped off the internet to train their models. The second question for me is about the way that they're going to architect this switching between on-device AI and cloud AI and chat GPT. There was no live demo of the AI in action, so we don't really even know if it works especially well, but it feels clunky to me and I suspect it will be very slow, at least at first. The newest models like GPT-4.0 have managed to reduce latency significantly, but all of this switching between much smaller on-device models and presumably much larger cloud models, as well as sending the data over to ChatGPT, seems to me like an enormous technical challenge. So I'll be super interested to see whether they can actually pull it off. And then my final question is the big one about this ChatGPT integration. Because frankly, it seems strange to me. Why announce that you're partnering with ChatGPT when you've literally just announced your own amazing new large language model service? And my suspicion here is that actually Apple's models, while they must have scraped a lot of data off the internet, have not scraped nearly as much as OpenAI and are therefore not working nearly as well. As I say, we didn't see any real-time demos of the Apple LLM working. For a tech firm, Apple is actually extremely risk averse. They arrive late to trends and try to do them better rather than first. But here, I think they've seen the contradiction inherent across their years long focus on privacy and the apparent disregard for things like privacy and copyright that the current Wild West of AI models seems to have. So they've made an uneasy truce and essentially outsourced the dirty stuff to OpenAI. Their on-device models will do as much as they can with your own data on your device. And then for the real heavy lifting, they're gonna send it over to OpenAI and ChatGPT. So many people, including apparently Elon Musk, are gonna see this as a violation of the principles that they've held up for so long because it is just essentially outsourcing the gray area to OpenAI. But I think Apple can clearly see how much this technology is going to revolutionize the way we interact with their devices and so it's a risk worth taking. And to be fair, this was the most innovative Apple have felt for a long time. Often these worldwide developer conferences just feel like 
a better camera, a thinner iPad, a brighter screen. This one actually felt like they were really innovating for the first time in a long time. So for me, the proof is gonna be in the pudding. If this all works really well and the integrations are seamless and ChatGPT jumps in when it's needed and then the on-device processing for your personal data all works perfectly, then it probably will be a trade-off that will be worth it. Of course, there are gonna be ongoing issues around privacy and copyright with all of these models, purely because they use so much data, but, if we're getting products and services that work super, super well and we get joy and we get uh, utility out of them, then it will be a price worth paying. That for me is the big question, but I would love to hear what you think in the comments below. So do let me know. I'll see you next time.